and today I want to show you the eggs of Megasoma elephas, elephas and how you retrieve them from the uh, or repositioning uh, substrate in the substrate box. Um, that's what I did here. It was a female of Megasoma elephas in it from the 21st of April. Today is the 21st of June, two months later. Uh, the male was in for about uh, one week and then I removed the male and the female was in the box for one month 25th of May I removed it and now I wrote check it 25th of June now 21 uh, June and I already found two eggs now you see the substrate here if you look at it uh, closer you see it's very compacted uh, on the bottom of the box that's what I did so you have to press the um, five centimeters on the bottom very hard so that the female can lay the eggs in there so now we have to open it very carefully to see where the eggs are and let's break some thing apart to have a look where they could be there are a lot of worms in it I don't like them really because they disturb uh, the substrate and sometimes if you are unlucky they can also disturb the eggs in the substrate so now we have to look through the substrate here where do we see an egg they are pretty big so you can't really miss them mostly they are also in a kind of a, a little knot uh, um, there are pieces of the beetle jellies deep down in the substrate so the uh, the female is bringing uh, material from the top to the bottom of the box I don't know whether it's meant to to feed the the larvae that um, emerge from the eggs or hatch from the eggs that they want to feed them with this but it could be that they make uh, they put some material that the larvae can eat next to the place where they oviposit so that the freshly hatched or we can eat from this material so now this is a kind of the search you have to scramble the whole thing carefully so that you don't kill an egg when you press too hard okay now I put let's see I don't know how many eggs the female already uh, positioned in the substrate here but I'm sure we can find some if we go through carefully here I see one here you see that this is the egg of, of Megasoma elephas, elephas from um, Central America now I have I prepared a box uh, to put the egg in I, I make a hole I look that there are no um, earthworms in here I try to put some of the original material I press it a little bit so that that I can and now I put the egg back into that so and I put some other of the original material material over it cover it so it should be possible for the egg to breathe a little bit also it should be possible to take in some more of the humidity from the surrounding substrate and now I close it there are some small holes here in the on the lid of the little box and on we go we have to look through the hole uh, material mostly the female compresses at the substrate very carefully and lays the egg into it uh, we have to be careful not to squash the egg yeah. 
and in the meantime while I'm looking for the for the eggs I can show you a, an adult a, a really now what is that <laughs> now this is the lorry of Megazel look watch my little finger against it it's so incredibly big and fat and it's also also um, yellow it means that it should pup pupate now in the next time I hope that within the next uh, few uh, months or days or weeks that it will be a pupa and look here's another egg um, inside a little knot in the substrate already pumped up probably the, you can already see the little lorry inside this is close from hatching now and if you compare it with the big lorry you see how incredibly fast they grow the skin is wrinkled a little bit you see that on the lorry this wrinkled structure on the skin it means that the larvae will pupate soon so we have to prepare for her a nice uh, place where she can uh, pupate and of course also for this egg it's the same process that I'm making some hole a hole in the middle of the substrate it should be slightly wet and also here I put some of the original material that uh, has surrounded the egg originally put it in cover it with some of the original material and make it a little wet and now I'm very happy that uh, the female laid some eggs because I had uh, I have three females and only uh, one male and I hope that the male uh, made it with all the three females so that I have a lot of eggs and can give you some of my lorry if you like go and look in my uh, online beetle shop beetlebeetle.ch um, I give you some information about how many eggs I retrieved right after this thanks for watching